Hey, you. Yes, you in a blue coat. Come here. Don't keep me waiting. I haven't got all day. Let's see your papers, please. Thank you. Let's see here. Everything's in date. No errors. Though, your identification does expire in about a week. The 5th of March, 1770. Make sure you get that renewed. Just how long have you lived in the city? All your life. Have your taxes been filled? Good. Do you own a firearm? You do. Is it registered? It is. Can I see your registration papers, please? Do you have any children, sir? No. What is your occupation? News editor. Very interesting. Alright. Everything seems to be in order. No, I'm not going to give your papers back just yet. I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Oh no, don't bother running away. If you look behind you, I've got three other soldiers about 20 metres behind, ready to apprehend you if you run off. So please do me a favour and make this easy. I've had a rough day. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we just so happen to have received some very interesting information from an anonymous source that you have been conspiring with rebellious groups. Their acts include rioting, robbery, murder, arson, theft, and any other precarious crimes. We believe that you have been cooperating with them. Do you know anything about this? No. Have you heard of the so-called Sons of Liberty, as they call themselves? Can you tell me about them? They're a patriotic group advocating for independence. <laughs> oh! You can't be serious. Independence. From the crown. You colonists are more dim-witted than I thought. King George III is the rightful ruler of these lands. You know, I have good reason to believe you. Your father owns a parchment and china store on the east side of the city, correct? I know your father. He's quite the loyalist to the crown. He always gives me and my men discounts on my purchases. And since your father has been so loyal to the crown, I think it's safe to assume that you will be too. No. Don't worry. I'm not going to arrest you. I'm simply here asking for your help. There are people here who just want peace and unity to be destroyed. And I cannot allow that to happen. Now tell me, do you know anyone who could be involved with these groups? You are aware of them? Please, do tell me. Your neighbour? And what makes you suspect that? You saw him and others bringing in muskets to his shed. How many? At least 40? And you also saw barrels of gunpowder in there. Dear God, this could be in a revolt. I need you to come with me. Yes, you have to. You're my main source. My captain needs to hear all about this. No. You're not going anywhere. Listen to me. If you don't want this dagger to be pushed into that cute flesh of yours, I suggest you come with me quietly. I'll stop your whining. I said stop. Good. Now here's what's going to happen. You're going to come with me to my captain's quarters. You're going to tell him everything you just told me to the exact detail. And then you are going to lead us to your neighbor's house where we will detain him and his family. Understood? I cannot guarantee your neighbor will not be killed. We will do whatever it takes to get what we want. And if that includes slipping this dagger into your stomach, I'll do it. Do you swear your loyalty to the crown? I said, do you swear your loyalty to the crown? Good. Now let's go.